noise. What association you have when I say this word? This annoying thing that you try to remove from your photos and videos? What if I told you that noise is one of the most powerful tools in graphics production? This video is aimed towards beginners, I would say, because more advanced users surely know what I'll be talking about. Nonetheless, I didn't know it when I started, and it changed everything when I introduced this into my workflow. If you come from a photography or cinematography background, you refer to noise as a byproduct of your sensor's sensitivity. And depending on the conditions, the settings, it may be less or more pronounced. In the VFX world, we always mimic original play its noise on RCG elements to blend the two elements together better. But if in cinematography and photography world that's the only definition of noise, it's far from reality in CG world. Noise is a very powerful tool. It's a mathematically generated pattern that can drive almost anything. It's randomness and proceduralism at its best. Values ranging from black to white, from zero to one if you wish. You can scale it up, you can clamp it, you can animate it in many different ways. You can stack noises on top of each other to get an infinite amount of different effects. One of the richest noise libraries can be found in Cinema 4D, also known as Maxon Noise. You can find noise presets suitable for any type of task. The Maxon library consists of 32 types of noises that can be used to drive masks, animations, rotations, positions, scale, anything. And since Maxon acquired Redshift, you can get access to Maxon noise and other DCCs through Redshift, but only on shading level, unfortunately. I would imagine in Cinema 4D itself, noises would go beyond their current uh, use cases when the new Neutron Core is released. What does beyond current use cases mean? Well, in Houdini, artists use noises in pretty much everything. Noises are at the core of everything. They drive forces, they drive emitters, masks, and so much more. Other DCCs uh, usually have several noises available. The most uh, known ones are Perlin or Fractal noises. And to be frank, it's enough to get anything you may want. Textures like details in your surfaces. Noises are particularly useful in procedural shading. Deformers and displacements. You can display surfaces to generate something organic looking or introduce some randomness to your mesh to avoid tiling, for example. Animations. You can use noise to introduce randomness into the movements of your object. Masks. Noises are widely used as masks to mix things, to isolate things, or to again break up the tiled look of things by mixing different texture scales. Effects. Noises can be used as a driving force for effects. In effects, noises can drive your velocities, can specify where emission is happening, and a lot more. Noises are used pretty much the same across many different DCCs. The core concept remains the same. This is a brief overview of use cases of noise in 3D, but it's not the end of uh, noise use cases in general. There are noises in comp softwares like Fusion or After Effects. In Fusion, we have fast noise that can be used as a, again, displacer or as a mask for different types of things. After Effects has fractal noise that serves as a base for so many amazing effects. I personally use After Effects sometimes to generate my assets, my animated textures, and oftentimes noise is at the core of these effects. Many fancy effects you are inspired by are made with a substantial contribution of noises. One of the most desired qualities in our work is randomness, and noise is by far the best tool to achieve this. Noise is also your best friend in compositing because different noise-based filters help you to introduce imperfections to your shots. This can be handy when merging a live plate with CG elements, as I already mentioned in the beginning of this video, but also it helps you to introduce better realism to your full CG shots. In fact, noise is such a powerful tool that in many DCCs it has its own dedicated node or a tool just noise. And in the beginning of my journey, I was like, why would you want noise? Anyways, I wanted this video to be quick because literally noise is used in majority of the tasks in production. And this info is supposed to encourage you to go and learn more, dig deeper. 
most likely you can drastically improve your work by just using noise in various production stages. If you have any questions about specific segments of this video that were playing back, speeded up, just let me know in the comments. Hope this was helpful to some of you. Go create something amazing with the noises. Thank you for watching. Peace.